Hey everybody, what is going on? Today we're gonna to be talking about how you can get rich. Now, obviously everybody wants to get rich, right? Well, you might not know the right directions to take, what kind of steps you wanna take. So if you're interested in getting rich, this is the video for you. I cover a ton of things. Make sure you get your pen and notebook out because there's gonna be a whole list of things that you should probably get. We're gonna be turning what you keep dreaming about into a reality. If you want that Lamborghini, these are most likely the steps that you're going to have to take. Now, of course, before we get started, I just want to make sure that you guys hit that like button and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps me out. And uh, we, ha we have a goal for uh, when I get 50 subscribers, I will get a lighting setup because I know there's a little bit of a shadow over here and behind me. We're gonna fix that completely, make this a higher quality channel for you guys. I just wanna make sure that this is a thing that people wanna see and I will invest in this channel. So first off, we're just gonna say that 99% of the people are not rich. If you, wanna be getting, if you wanna be getting into the 1% area, which I'm trying to do myself, it's gonna be very difficult along the way. So what do you do on your average day? Well. When I used, what I used to do was go, go home after school and sit down on the couch or my futon actually, and I would just binge watch Netflix. So in order to be the 1%, you're gonna have to think like the 1%. So think about this analogy. So you come home from a long day of work or school, whatever you're doing during the day, and you come home, you're all tired. Well, you think the 1% are gonna sit down like you and watch Netflix, just binging on TV shows for no reason at all other than self-enjoyment? No, the founders of Netflix actually thought of a really nice idea of creating a streaming content for those lazy 99% of the people so that they can make money off of them. This was a genius idea if you really think about it. And we're gonna get into the kind of ideas that you wanna start creating uh, later in the video, so stay tuned. This one is extremely hard to do. Nobody wants to be doing work all the time, but guess what? The 1% didn't have time, okay? They spent every minute of the day thinking about how they can make money off of things. So I want you to clear your mind of everything you're thinking about right now. I'm gonna be teaching you the mindset you need to have about money. Now this is very important. Most people are, do not think this way. This is why there's poor people and rich people. The mindset is everything. That's the border between rich and poor people. So here's something to think about that everybody aspires to do. Everybody's parents aspire them to go to college, right? I mean, you guys might be thinking about going to college too, right? Even I'm thinking about going to college. So the whole reason that we're, that we're doing, I've went through 10 years of school already. It's insane to think about. You waste so much time in your life doing school so that you can pay more to go to a school to teach you things about a job that gives you a maximum salary. You can't make more than a certain amount. The average college student is in debt. It would take years to get out of debt from, this, from colleges. Some, some of them go up to $100,000, even more, just for learning something about a job that's gonna pay you a maximum salary. And chances are, if you think about it, you may never see a million dollars in your bank account if you go that route. So I'm gonna explain the mindset that you need to have about money. It's really important. So this is the most simple thing that I could really come up with when I was planning this video. So I want you to look around. Look, like, look around out of this video, pause it. Look, at, look at what you're sitting in. What are you sitting in right now? What are you watching right now? You're watching me on a phone, a tablet, a computer perhaps so I see what about these pieces of paper that I wrote my notes down on this paper this paper right here I bought this from a billion dollar company just paper pieces of trees cut up we buy this every single day from these people your $1,000 iPhone is part of a billion dollar company you're paying this company with millions of other people so that you can have their product this is what you need to do. So think about it this way. Right now, we and you are consumers. How can we make people our consumers? In order to win, you need to think this way. You need to make, 
Think about how you can get a person to buy something from you. If you want to make endless streams of money, which I think we all do, you have to think about how to solve a problem. The bigger the problem, the more money you'll make. Think about those million dollar companies. What's costing them millions of dollars? You can solve that problem and make millions from it. Think about Jeff Bezos. What problems did he solve with Amazon? He solved the problem with shopping at actual stores. You can ship things really fast, that's number two, and they're extremely low prices. All three very beneficial things tied into one bundle, just one site called Amazon. So now you may be thinking, I don't have money to start doing these things. Like in order to solve a problem, you need money, right? So before you, before you start thinking about all that mumble jumble, just throw it aside. You have to find your problem first. You always find your problems first. Then you'll worry about how to start a company off of it. So you need to be thinking about, is this problem scalable? So are, is there a bunch of other people like you that are having the same problem? The more, the better. Just because your idea or solution doesn't work doesn't mean there's another way to it. Learn from your failures and make changes to succeed. It may make you very frustrated and angry, but failing is usually beneficial to you. What? It teaches you what doesn't work. In other words, the more you fail, the more you are able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. So another thing that you need to think about is that you aren't rewarded for your time. You're rewarded for your value. Think of this aspect like this. So you have teachers and doctors. What are the core things that separate the amount of money they make? Well, teachers feed information to the kids and they send them off to college, while doctors save lives and they spend even more years in college and school so that they can make more money for their value because they're, they're saving people's lives. And you can tell the value of something by the amount of time you have to put into it. So think about it like this. Most likely, if you're going to school for two years, maybe four, you're not gonna be making as much money as someone say eight years. The more time you invest in something, the more money that you can make from it. Now, I'm not saying go be a doctor or anything. I'm saying that if you watch to the end of this video, you'll understand what I'm saying. Uh -huh. It's not the amount of hours that you put into something, it's about the worth of what you're doing. I can work on a mini bike or I can work on a mower. And thinking about both of them, the mini bikes can be worth more money, but it may take a little bit more time. You have to think about this and decide if it's really worth the time that you're putting into it so that you can make more money. And speaking of mini bikes and mowers, if you're, if you're questioning why I chose those two, check this video out up here. Uh, I discuss how much money I made for 2020 and I discuss what I actually do to make money. Another really important idea that I got from Clark Kegley is that if you are maxing out at the amount of money you're making, you need to be thinking about how you can grow your consumer base. Say you work full time uh, being a fitness coach and you just take people to the gym. You have no time in the world anymore because you're working all the time going to the gym nonstop, teaching people how they can build muscle and lose fat, right? There's so much simpler things you can do. Instead of spending all of his hours at the gym and teaching people that way face to face, he can do videos where people watch him and do things at home. So for this point I made, just think about how you can create more consumers to follow your product. It can be really simple or it can be really difficult. You have to really think about it. Now, as a final thought, uh, you need to be 110% committed into something you're doing. In fact, I bet about 99% of the people watching this didn't even take notes. You need to make your idea a reality and do everything that you possibly can to make it successful. So you may not have many friends or love life in the beginning, but eventually you'll have all the time in the world. I recommend you check out this video right here. YouTube recommended it just for you off of my channel, so go check it out. If you're looking to make money through side hustles or something along that line while you're young, go check out these videos right here. I made them specifically for teenagers and kids that are looking to make money, and if you want to make thousands of dollars, go check them out right here.